Hello everyone, I'm Lewis of OurHustleNation.com and yes I am putting another blog out, blog titled uh, Faith Without Works. First let me start out by saying that we are all in a recession and it's not coming back. If and when it does come back, it will not create more jobs, just more outsourcing. I say that to say this. Uh, I think a lot of people run around here thinking that you know this recession is going to be over and life's going to be better and great for everybody. Uh, this is not a recession. This is a new way of life. Let me explain. Everybody, put your business brain on real quick. If I have a business and I'm running with 500,000 people and I had 200,000 layoffs and I learned to operate my business with 300,000 people. Why would I hire 200,000 people back if I'm operating and running my business and I got to cut a loss? It just it doesn't make sense at all. Uh, will the economy come back? Yes. Will those jobs come back? No, they're not. Now, in my I do my show on Tuesday nights, uh, we had made the statement where a guy called in and asked about should people turn to the churches right now in order to uh, get help. And I said, well, now... Nah, I don't think they can turn to the church because uh, the churches I've seen they can turn to them for faith in the Lord and things of that and things of, of that nature. But from what I've seen, uh, the people uh, that are hurting right now need more than just uh, church. Although God is a big deal in everybody's life, I would hope, or uh, a lot of us say that, but He really not. But um, I feel like they're learning. Church teaches faith and not works. Now, I'm not sure if the church has failed you or if false hopers clouded your judging. But here's what I've learned. The Bible makes two statements. Uh, one of the statements in the Bible I've seen, it says, lean not on your own understanding. The other statement it says is faith without works is dead. Here's what I've learned. Uh, I've spoken to a lot of people. Uh, you know, people, I do personal calls. And what I've learned is uh, people have a lot of faith and none of them have works. The problem with faith is faith can easily turn into foolishness if you don't know what you're doing. Am I negating God? Hell no, not at all. You won't get that out of me. But what I'm telling you is just believing in God and hoping for a better day is not enough. You actually have to learn works. Now here's what the church does. Did you know the majority of the church is broke? That's what a lot of people don't know. The majority of members in large congregations are broke. Did you know the majority of church don't open their Bible unless the pastor say turn to this passage? That being said, do you know the majority of people that watch this blog don't even know the two statements I just made are in the Bible? Now, people that are high and rich on faith and poor on works. With that being said, I have I remember a lady at the church I used to go to. She was huge on faith. When I tell you she get to speak in that faith, oh, the Lord this, the Lord that, and she was broke. Literally broke. Had no money. And I don't want anybody to mix this blog up for, oh, you got to have money for the Lord to love you. No, you don't. But if you want to live uh, in America in 2010, you better find some income, uh, some income. Because uh, trust me, you can't pay your rent based on saying the Lord loves me. Um, or your lights. I actually tried. No, I'm just playing, but I thought about it. Um, here's the problem. Here's another thing the Bible says. My people perish for lack of knowledge. So you can have all the faith and all the love of God in the Word. And that's a beautiful thing. Did you not? But we get so caught up on the faith and not the works that America is dying right now. Because with jobs being cut, Incomes being low. People are required to have new works. Now here's the thing. You cannot change without new knowledge. Do you want to know the difference between a poor man on the street that's looking for food and the rich man who's making uh, 15, 20 million dollars a year? The difference between those two is knowledge and implementing that knowledge. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. I don't never want nobody. I will say it again. The difference between the man who got to go get a free meal on Thanksgiving because he broke and the man 
who was handing out the free meals because he run the damn uh, uh, non-profit uh, is knowledge and implementation of it. Everybody I talk to, they have no new knowledge. From my family to the people that I call to all these people, they have no new knowledge. That's why they reach out to me. Now, I recently started doing webinars. My webinar is very inexpensive. You can go to iHustleNation.com. I got a webinar coming up next week, Thursday. And I and the girl called. Here's why I started it. Because the girl asked me. She said, Louis, I heard you talking about these you know, pastors and things of that nature. But what are you doing? I'm like, man, what you what you mean what I'm doing? I do a show every every Tuesday night. She said, no, nah, Louis, that's not enough. She said, you need to do something like go into lessons. Your videos are only 10 minutes long. She said, if you don't go into doing lessons or breaking down to people, because I feel like you got more knowledge than what you've given us. If you don't break down to people how to do certain things, you know better than the pastors that you was talking about on your show. Well, y'all know that one hit me in the heart. I ain't even going to lie to you. I was like, hold on. You know, I got to find, hold on, girl, I'm handling me like that. Shit. But it was the truth. That's why I started doing the webinars and, and things of that nature. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that to plug my webinar. I'm saying that to say this. I don't give a damn where you go. I don't care if you go grab a book. I don't care if you go uh, sit down for a class. I don't care if you sign up for Johnny Way webinar because you don't like me and, and you don't like how my shirt is the color of lilac. I don't give a damn what you're going through. Sign up for somebody's. Let me tell y'all something. I don't even like to read. I read three chapters out the Bible every morning and I read these little marketing books I got. I don't care to read. I read for new knowledge. But let me tell you, when I get tired of reading, I got books on audio. You see this little MP3 player right here? It's full of everything. I got all kind of books on there on audio because I know me. And I know I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like reading today. But I got to get it in me. Because if I don't get it in me, I will be the same person. I had a cousin got out of jail. I told him, I said, cousin, I ain't going to lie to you. You're going to go right back to jail, bro. He said, no, nah, Kent Folk, how you hating on me, man? How you? I said, cousin, you're not trying to learn anything new. So when it's time for you to implement yourself, you don't have shit to implement. So you're going to implement your old ways because you don't have no new ways. Just because you just sat up for a long time don't, still, don't mean you ain't no criminal. You got to work that criminal out of you, bro. Man, I used to have a hookup on everything. Ask anybody. I had a hookup on everything. But I had to change. I can't keep meeting niggas with uh, PlayStations in their trunk. So laws come bust me and I go to jail and things of that nature. No, I had to implement the new knowledge I had. The difference between the poor man and the rich man. The difference between the man with no job and the man that fired him. His new knowledge. That's the only difference. I made this video to implore you. Uh, your people, your cousins, them, your mama, them, uh, your auntie, them, everybody. Everybody going through some bad, rough times, hard times. And I ain't talking about relationships. Please don't make this a relationship blog. Because I'm so tired of relationships and relationship experts. I can't take that shit no more. First, and I ain't never say I was no relationship expert. So don't nobody ever peg me with that. But the difference between them and you guys is knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge. That's my time today. I'm Lewis Williams with iHustleNation.com. Y'all make sure y'all catch the show on Tuesday nights. If y'all want any updates on what we got going on, feel free to go to iHustleNation.com. If you have any questions, you know, you can always send me an email, L-E-W-I-S. That's Lewis at iHustleNation.com. And I do appreciate your time.